suppose it comes right to the result today. I suppose in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't doesn't really matter. This first. No, it doesn't. I mean, I'm disappointed. I don't want to, I don't want to lose any game, particularly when the fans have turned out in those numbers. And I asked for pride, and I'm, we're disappointed because I thought we started the game very well, first 25 minutes, and we just conceded two very soft goals. And I think when you look back at the game, I'm not disputing that Sutton probably deserved to win the game, but we've missed the best three chances of the game. And uh, goals change matches. Two poor defensive goals from our perspective. Three great opportunities. All fell to the same player and uh, none of them taken and you end up losing the game. But um, overall, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with how it's gone since November. Um, it's, it's taken a lot of points to make sure that we didn't get relegated. And uh, I've said to them, you know, very well done in the dressing room overall, though disappointing today. Sure, sure. So was it the case of sort of missing chances today was the, re the reason the game went how it did? Well, I mean, no, we started well, but, the, you know, we've, we've conceded. It, we've got so many new players who played today and communication was poor. We kept giving away corners when perhaps we had the opportunity to clear it with power communication. They've scored the first one, we should have cleared it. Uh, and the second one's a very poor defensive goal from us. Again, a lack of communication. But, you know, Dan Bennett's got clean through and he's, he's over, he's over, he's poor touch in the first half and you know that makes it 1-1 I think at that stage and our heads went down for a couple of minutes but we came out the second half with purpose and um, on the break I thought we were dangerous and we've, we've created another two absolutely fabulous chances and again both have been missed and game's over and obviously they're looking now towards the playoffs um, but we, we, we can hold our heads up high today we, we, we gave it a, a decent account of ourselves but disappointing for, at both ends of the park that uh, um, we didn't perform well enough to actually get anything out of the game. Sure, sure. So you are, you are happy with the performance of the, of the players in general? In, in general. I mean, I'm not happy with the quality at both ends. because I said, both goals were totally preventable and we should have scored when we've had three great, the, I think the best three chances in the game. Um, they could have caught us then at the very end and I think that would have flattered them. But, uh, you know, it, it, was a, it was a, you know, we, we showed some pride and passion and which is something that I made very clear before the game. How many people were coming to support us today on a horrible day? And um, we showed that and, you know, we are... Excuse the pun again, the, the walking wounded and um, lots of young players had an opportunity to show us what they're about and uh, it, it was a good exercise from that purpose but uh, you know, we're, our, our job was done last Saturday and you know, overall when I've heard the results today in the last 10 minutes you know, it's taken an awful lot of points to avoid relegation this season and the dressing room can be very, uh, very proud of what they've achieved. Mm, definitely. Was, uh, is, is it fair to say that you know, the season was over the, you know, last week? Yes, it was. Um, but we, we had a... We had a to show respect to the, the competition and to Sutton and they, you know, they wanted to win before they go uh, into the playoffs and make sure they get the good placing in the playoffs and we put the best team out available to us and um, I thought generally we did, we did very well, we competed well against a very physical side but um, it, it is difficult to raise the side uh, after last weekend's result but I thought we did that well, I thought we started the game well. And as I said, it wasn't one of those couple of off days we'd had in the season. I thought we, we gave a good account of ourselves, but as I said, disappointing with the quality at both ends at vital moments, and, and that's why we've got nothing from the game. Sure, sure. Obviously, as you say, you've done well to avoid relegation this season. I mean, does, is that a nice feeling for, for you and the players? Well, it was on Saturday, I can tell you. Um, and I think when we look back over the next few days and weeks, it, it's, it's a fantastic achievement with the the financial constraints we've had and the points that were deducted, we've got 51 points on the pitch. So uh, I think that's a fantastic achievement. But it all starts again come, uh, come August and um, we've got to try and get off the field sorted and new owners in and, and, and get the right players who want to wear, wear farm shirts for next season and, and go again. Mm. So, so you, are, you are very happy with the way this season has finished then? I'm happy. I mean, my job was to come in and avoid relegation and we've achieved that. And we've achieved it by a good margin, which, as I said, I think if you'd asked... What well, people did mention in November when, when I was appointed, they said we were relegation certainties, a lot of members of the, the media and forums and everything else. So it, it's, it's, it's a great achievement. I thought the fans today, again, I mean, it's, look at it out there, it's absolutely horrible. And, you know, they were absolutely fantastic and they've been that throughout the season. And there's a lot of reality that's come into Farnborough in the last six months. And, and that's a good thing in adversity. We have to stick together. And I think generally we've done that well. And it was important that we showed pride today and stand up against the side who, remember, are going to finish, I think, fourth in the, fourth in the table and away from home. So we, we gave a good account of ourselves. So we've got a lot to be pleased with and um, we'll, we'll go from here. Definitely, yeah. Just on, on a final note, obviously, it's important to sort of prepare for, for next year over the summer. And is it kind of now building towards next season? That well, started from Saturday night, to be fair. A number of players have signed contracts this week. Um, I'm already starting to speak to new players. And... Um, we will build from there, but uh, certainly we're already looking towards next season. The opportunity today to play a, 
a, a competitive game in the Blue Square South to give a lot of youngsters an opportunity to play 60 minutes, 90 minutes or whatever they did at the time. And it, it's all about lessons and, and moving forward. So um, there's an awful lot to be positive of. And as I said, I hate losing football matches. And, um, but on this particular occasion, we've got to look back at the six months' work and on and off the pitch. You know, the Farnborough can be very pleased where they sit today. Awful long way to go. Uh, some tough times ahead, I have absolutely no doubt, for all of us. Um, but if we stick together like this, fingers crossed, you know, we'll come through. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, thank you for that, Spencer. No Congratulations on, on this Thanks very much. Cheers, mate. Thank you.